The Good Motives is the actualization of a dream to create a unique designer resort that mixes luxury, design aesthetics, and hospitality in one exceptionally beautiful tropical island, fashioned from the ground up to provide guests with ultimate holiday experience, aimed to refresh, revitalize, and reawaken the soul. Cocoon Maldives, the first design hotel in Maldives. This is Manta Restaurant. I just want to let you know what are the dining options in this resort. I just want to meet the corporate chef Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. Hi, hi. Welcome to Cocoon and welcome to our Manta Restaurant. Uh, tell me about the dining options in this resort. Yeah, in our uh, beautiful resort, we have a different kind of option. Op option. We have a Manta restaurant, is a la carte. Then we have uh, Octopus, that is a main restaurant, buffet style, and we do a lot of show cooking for the guests. Then we have uh, Palm Square, where, where uh, we can dine with the uh, grilled lobster on tenderloin uh, beef. And then we have Kurum Bar for romantic dinner. Giovanni would show Cocoon Maldives two signature dishes. What are they, Giovanni? Hi, we start to prepare tonight for you some uh, tuna tartare, yellowfin tuna tartare, that our guests uh, like a lot. And uh, for uh, main course, we're going to do some uh, carpaccio of rice napper with the passion dressing. Here we have uh, to have our signature dish of uh, Manta, the restaurant, uh, fine dining uh, restaurant in uh, Cocoon Maldives. Here we have uh, our famous tuna tartare with the spaghetti of leeks. It's just uh, marinated tuna. Here we have uh, a carpaccio of rice napper with the uh, passion uh, fruit dressing. Buon appetito. Hello, this is the cube spa of Cocoon Maldives. Let's have a look at What's special about this spa, the cube spa of Cocoon Maldives? All right, so the special in here is um, with the design. This one is the traditional elegant design from the Italy. And we have the uh, signature treatment, that's a uh, cocoon signature therapy. It's, it's combined between the Thai and Swedish massage. It will be strong and relaxed. Well, I had a cocoon signature therapy treatment. It was a great treatment for muscle tension and joint tension. You must, if you are a holiday traveler, to this cocoon Maldives, you must do have that to relieve tension. Have it.
Welcome to the VVIP Season 2 premiering episode. My guest today is Alessandro Alex Azola. He's the man behind Maldives' first design resort, which is called Cocoon Maldives. Alessandro Alex Azola, very warm welcome to the VVIP with Ahmed Danush. Thank you very much for your invitation. Cocoon Maldives, why your resort is called the first design resort? Because uh, we, we add to the beauty of Maldives, so to the best beach, the best dive spot, but the best lagoon all around the world, a, a modern touch, a contemporary touch. So uh, I had the, the lucky to, to meet this uh, uh, Daniele Lago, this uh, incredible uh, interior design owner of this company, Lago Company. But usually they are um, used to do a city hotel. So they built uh, furniture for hotel in Milano, in Paris, in Berlin. Uh, and they never approach a tropical destination like Maldives. So uh, at the beginning was, uh, we had a lot of doubt to bring this type of furniture here, but as soon as we tried to do the first mock-up room, we saw that the combination between the tropical atmosphere and this uh, floating bed, this uh, table with uh, leg by glass, uh, with swing in the room, created an incredible match, an incredible contrast that uh, um, is one of the key of uh, our success. Because uh, um, uh, all the resort in Maldives are very beautiful, but uh, l l um, very uh, similar one to the other, you know. Instead, uh, Cocoon is, uh, uh, is a very particular, is very uh, out of common, and uh, for this reason is the first design hotel in Maldives, and uh, there is so, uh, so incredible feedback by the guests. Why design resorts are important to the tourism industry? Uh, because it's a news, uh, um, and sometimes all the industry need need uh, something news, you know. Uh, Maldives is the top destination all around the world, but uh, uh, have something news, uh, switch on the attention of the media, uh, on the people about uh, about this news, you know. So, um, frankly speaking, uh, all the media all around the world is very interested about this uh, uh, first design hotel in Maldives. Uh, we are getting a lot of uh, attention of the media from Australia to Brazil to US. Uh, Everybody is, uh, wants to know about uh, uh, Cocoon. And this, of course, is also a benefit, is a add value for, uh, for Maldives as a destination. You say Cocoon Maldives, a five-star friendly resort. Why is it? Five star friendly. Five star friendly for many reasons. Uh, first of all, because uh, Cocoon wants to provide a, a five star service, but with very affordable uh, price. So come to Cocoon is not so expensive uh, like approach uh, some other uh, of my uh, hotel of the same level. Um, second, because also the extras in Cocoon wants to be uh, affordable. So a lobster dinner, a, a massage, one excursion. We try to um, offer to our guest a very, um, a very affordable price so the people can uh, really enjoy the holiday. Because sometimes um, in the uh, uh, op common opinion, Maldives is expensive destination. Instead, we try to change the mind of the people, offering to the market a, a five-star friendly. And uh, more than this is our management. Our management must be um, very friendly with the guest. Is, uh, the, uh, I don't like when there is too much um, distance between the guest and the staff. Instead, we like to uh, welcome the guest in the right way. We like to uh, get in connection the, the, the local people with, uh, with our guest. We, we have... Uh, and entertainment uh, on daily basis. We have our live band uh, to, to, to entertain our, our guest. Is a, is a way to, to keep the guest in a five-star place, but in a nice way. 
How do you want to transform Cocoon Maldives? Cocoon is a small baby because she is only nine months. Uh, we opened only last December. So uh, also from our side, we are learning day by day uh, and we are discovering day by day the beauty of this island. And we try to um, adjust uh, to learn by the island how to set up in the best way the barbecue on the beach, how to set up in the best way the excursion, or, or how um, offer to our guest the best uh, uh, the best holiday, you know. So I don't want uh, uh, not at all change the island. I want to learn by the island how uh, offer the best to our guest. You have been contributing to Maldivian tourism industry for more than 30 years. Tell me more about it. Uh, we are we are not only uh, hotelier. Uh, we burn also um, as tour operator. Uh, Azamar, our tour operator, is uh, uh, more than 35 years that uh, um, work uh, in Maldives. Uh, we uh, we send a client. We are the first Italian tour operator to Maldives. Uh, we send client to uh, the best island here around so we have two aim in our in our experience we have the experience of the tour operator uh, still is going on uh, in in the best way and the aim of uh, um, of hotelier is doing on his uh, on his uh, his own way um, each each co each company help each other but is not uh, too much invadent for example um, at the moment in Cocoon, there is only 10 or 15 percent from Italian clientele, you know. We want a very uh, international uh, clientele, a very international uh, mix-up. And the, the, our third year of relationship with the best hotel chain here in Maldives, we don't want to lose this uh, very strong relationship that we have because Cocoon, now is, there is Cocoon, you know. So it's two different uh, jobs that we do. We are in a, uh, in a uh, tourism industry with two different sides, the hotel side and the tour operator side. What changes you want to bring to the global tourism and hospitality industry? I. I'm not so powerful that I can do a world change, but uh, my, my wish uh, or that, of course, if uh, the uh, economy situation worldwide, if this, um, there is no um, main problem with war around or with terrorism uh, problem around, of course, the the tourism industry is very important, it's very rich segment of the economy worldwide, you know. And everybody loves travel, loves uh, go around, to the, uh, go around um, the world. Of course, Maldives is the best beach destination, so uh, I wish that um, with the quiet situation worldwide, the number of people that travel will increase, and this, it means that there is much more um, richness around for all the, uh, all the people, and the people uh, that instead to do one holiday a year can do two or three holidays, and this, of course, transfer also much more uh, serenity to calm to to the people you know this is uh, the wish that I can do you travel a lot is that something you want to do more still yes I travel a lot for uh, for a job and also for uh, private life because I like a lot uh, to travel when uh, also when I am uh, off but I like to travel by car because uh, I like a lot to drive my car in, uh, in Italy or in uh, uh, south of France, in Europe, is very nice. So when I, when I have free time, I like to uh, spend the time with uh, my friend and go around uh, in, in Italy. You're from Italy. Why you do business in here, in Maldives? Be because um, I came in Maldives in 81 with my family and uh, immediately I felt in love with Maldives as a place and I met immediately a fantastic uh, businessman in Maldives that helped me to start our 
our, our uh, um, job here, our career here. So we start immediately an incredible relationship and day by day this relationship grew up. Uh, we, we, we became, uh, after the first uh, tour operator from Italy, and uh, after luckily we, we arrived to, to build uh, Cocoon, uh, our own island. And of course, uh, why Maldives? If you want uh, the best beach destination is Maldives, so this is the reason. Italy is a fantastic tourist destination. Tell me more about it. Uh, yes, uh, Italy is really a, a great place because it is a, um, a lot of variety in Italy. There is, there is a, a fantastic coast, there is this island, Sardinia and Sicily that uh, are really great. There is uh, there are these uh, incredible cities like uh, Rome, Venice, Florence that uh, on the uh, archaeologic site is, uh, is uh, unique all around the world. So uh, there is Milano, the island of fashion. Um, is a, a really a fantastic mix-up and um, I invite uh, all of you to come and visit uh, Italy because uh, I think uh, will give you a fantastic time. Doing multi-million dollar business, you know, it brings a lot of stress. How do you manage? Is 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 uh, is difficult, but is easy. It means that uh, you have to combine. Uh, your realistic mind so you have always to keep your foot to the ground and do small step one to the other forward uh, of course with uh, a lot of passion because uh, if somebody work in a tourism industry is motivated a lot by a lot of passion because it's a, a job they take you 24 hours always uh, engage but uh, with a mix of uh, realistic uh, and uh, keeping the y y your your um, your line in front of you uh, with uh, your passion and uh, with a mix of uh, a, a good uh, um, stuff behind you you can arrive to your uh, your uh, your dream cocoon was uh, frankly speaking was uh, my dream uh, it was uh, more than 20 years that uh, I was thinking to build my own resort. At the end, uh, I arrived to, to, to this. And um, after one dream, there is always another dream, you know. So now we, uh, we, already, we are already working on a, a next dream that uh, will be ready in one year. And after, we will invite you to talk also about our next, uh, next baby. Alessandro Eles Azola, thank you very much for taking part on the VVIP with Ahmed Anush. Thank you very much for your invitation. See you soon.